Whoa, let me come check this thing out. Okay. Well, what do you have here? It's a coin counter. Cha-ching! <laughs> I have a 1956 coin counter that I'm hoping to sell today. I thought it was unique. It's pretty cool. I've never seen one before, and it works. I want to try to sell it for 175. That's pretty cool. So coin counters have been around since sometime in the 1800s, but they were manually powered. Well, I see right here Standard Johnson Company. That would be J.M. Johnson. He actually invented it around the early 1900s. He was a basically a money counter at a bank. So he would manually put them in and count them, and he didn't want to do that anymore. He wanted his job to be easier. Can't blame the guy. No. So he basically came up with this idea to take the coin counter that he uses and put a motor on it, and this is what he came up with, to do all the work for him. A lot smarter. That's my <laughs> hero. So it's in pretty rough shape, and that's to be expected with something like this, because this was probably used, you know, 10, 20 plus years or so. So you got a crack right here. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of chipping. It even seems to be missing like a tray or something to catch the coins in. This is really cool though. Do you know if it still works? Yes, it does work. I'd like to test it out before we talk about anything else. I got a plug right here. Let's hope it goes good. Just joking. So you probably need to put something here to catch it. It's not gonna be the first mess I've ever made. Okay. All right, well, the numbers are moving. Let's make sure it's still going. <laughs> oh, they're moving. Is it working? Oh yeah, it's working. It's moving big time, all of them. You know what this reminds me of, right? What? It reminds me of the casinos in the 90s. Clean, clean, <laughs> clean, clean, clean. All right, well, it definitely works. What are you looking to do with it? I'm looking to sell it. And how much are you looking for? Um, one, at least 175. Okay. It's, it's definitely missing the tray, which if someone's gonna pay a few hundred dollars for this, they're gonna want it to be complete. Would you take 50 bucks for it? About 100. You know, that's just a, it's a little high for me because it's not exactly taking up a little bit of real estate, you know? I could do maybe 65. 75. I could do 65. Uh, that's top dollar for me. I can't pay a dime more. Okay, I'll do 65. All right, it's a deal. Now if only I can invent an electronic broom to clean all this mess up for me. <laughs> Let's go do some paperwork. Okay. So I sold it for $65. I hope they don't try to pay me in coins because it's going to take me a long time to count it now. 